Hi, this is Ramachandran from onlinemathforall.com. In this video, we are going to see how to solve compound interest problems uh, using geometric sequence. Here we have the question uh, that is, uh, if thousand dollars is deposited in a bank, which pays uh, annual interest at the rate of five percent compounded annually, so find the value of the deposit at the end of twelve years. That means uh, we have to find the value of the deposit at the end of the twelfth year. Okay, so clearly this is a compound interest problem, but uh, we are not going to use uh, the formula of compound interest. So we are going to solve this problem uh, using geometric sequence. Okay, so first uh, let me write the formula for nth term of a geometric sequence. So that is uh, T n is equal to y to the power n negative one. So this is the formula for nth term of nth term of a geometric sequence. Okay, here um, usually in geometric sequence, uh, A stands for the first term. But uh, when we do this kind of compound interest problems in uh, using geometric sequence, A stands for the initial deposit or uh, principal amount for the first year. So in our problem, uh, the value of A is thousand dollar because thousand dollar is deposited. So principal for the first year is thousand dollar. So the value of A is R. And uh, uh, our next question is what is R? So, but in uh, geometric sequence, uh, R stands for common ratio. But when we do component problem in using geometric sequence, so what does R stand for? So, we have to get a uh, value for R for uh, for the given problem in component interest. So, to get the value of R, uh, it's very simple. Uh, we just have to add one to the decimal form of the given percentage. So, that is uh, the given percentage is uh, five percentage. So to get the decimal form for this one, we just have to divide five by hundred. So the decimal form of the given percentage is zero point zero five. So to get the value of R, we just have to add one one to this decimal form. So R is equal to one positive. I'm sorry. Zero point zero five. So R is equal to one point zero five. So this is how we have to get uh, value for R. Uh, when we do uh, compound interest problems uh, using geometric sequence, but in geometric sequence, R is called common ratio. But when we do compound interest problems in geometric sequence, uh, this is how we have to get uh, value for R. That is, uh, we just have to add one to the decimal form of the given percentage. And here, the students may have a question. So, for this particular problem, you are adding one to the decimal form of the percentage. In case we do some other compound interest problems uh, using geometric sequence, uh, uh, in that situation, what do we have to do? So the same thing uh, we have to do for all the problems uh, in compound interest, but we are trying to solve using geometric sequence. So for any compound interest problem, when we are trying to solve it using geometric sequence, always we have to add one to the decimal form of the percentage. Not only for this particular problem. So this is just like a formula. Always we have to remember. So instead of four, we can write one point zero five to the power n negative one. Here. Now our question is, what does n stand for? But in geometric sequence, n stands for number of terms. That is, if you write uh, t15, that means instead of uh, n, I write 15. It says 15th, 15th term. But when we do compound interest problems uh, using geometric sequence, if I write uh, n is equal to 1, it will say uh, principal for the first year. Okay, I'll show you. Uh, I'm just going to plug uh, n is equal to 1. Let us see what uh, what do we get. So if I plug n is equal to 1, t1 is equal to 1000 times 1 1.05 to the power 1 negative 1. So uh, 1.05 to the power 0. So anything power 0 will be 1. 1 times 1000 will be 1000. So principal for the first series $1000. That is the initial deposit. So, if you plug n is equal to 1, you will be getting the principal uh, for the first year. Okay. In case, uh, I am going to plug uh, n is equal to 2. Okay. Let's continue the next step in uh, on our next page. So, tn is equal to 1000 times 1 1.05 to the power n negative 1. So, I am going to plug n is equal to 2. When I do so, t2 is equal to thousand times one point zero five to the power two negative one. 
so it will be 1.05 times to the power 2 negative 1 will be 1 so the value of 1.05 to the power 1 will be same 1.05 when it is multiplied by 1000 we will be getting 1050 so this is the principle for the second year and uh, here we have to remember uh, the most important thing uh, what is that is uh, 1050 as a principal we get for the second year so this is the value of the deposit at the end of first year so uh, students you have to remember the most important thing uh, here is uh, we get the principal 1050 dollars for the second year so that is the value of the deposit for the first year so value of the deposit for the first year is nothing but the principal plus interest so the interest we earned for the first year in case uh, in this formula tn is equal to 1000 times 1 1.05 to the power n negative 1 if you are going to plug n is equal to 20 you will be getting principal for the 20th year so that is the value of the deposit for at the end of 19th year so if you get principal for the 20th year that is nothing but the value of the deposit at the end of the 19th year that is 19th year means principal plus interest so in our problem uh, the target of the question is uh, we have to find the value of the deposit at the end of 12 years 12 years means at the end of 12th year so since we are uh, trying to find the value of the deposit at the end of 12th year it's very simple we have to find the principal for the 13th year okay uh, I'll just do it on the next page so students be clear they are asking us to find the value of the deposit at the end of 12th year so to know the value of the deposit at the end of the 12th year we have to find the principal for the 13th year so already I explained you this thing so Tn is equal to 1000 times 1.05 to the power n since I am trying to find the value of the deposit at the end of 12th year I have to plug 13 so if you are asked to find the value of the deposit uh, at the end of 19th year you have to plug n is equal to 20 so for the next year principal so just have to find the principal of the next year so 13 I'm sorry here it has to be negative 1 1.05 to the power 13 negative 1 so 2 13 is equal to 1000 times 1.05 to the power 12 so uh, we can use uh, calculator uh, to know the value of this one so for the 13th year the principal will be 1795 dollars I'm sorry 1795.86 dollars so this is the principal for the 13th year so the principal of the 13th year is nothing but the value of the deposit at the end of 12th, 12th year so uh, the w the most important thing what uh, what we have to remember in this kind of problem is when we are trying to solve uh, a component problem and uh, using geometric sequence and uh, you are trying to uh, find the value of the deposit for a particular year say say for example you are trying to find the value of the deposit at the end of seventh year so if you want to find the value of the deposit at the end of seventh year you have to find the principal for the eighth year that is in the formula of geometric sequence so you have to plug n is equal to eight. I hope now the students uh, would be able to understand how to solve uh, component interest problems uh, using geometric sequence. Okay students, uh, for more videos like this, please uh, visit www.onlinemathforall.com. Thank you.